Madison County Coroner shared the steps that his office is taking to prevent exposure to coronavirus during the pandemic. Way 31 Sydney Martin joins us live in Huntsville tonight, and she explains his take on the vaccine and the steps that he's also taking to make sure that his team and that himself stay safe. Sydney. Naja, the Madison County coroner told me that he's only had to transport about seven coronavirus positive patients so far during the pandemic and evaluate them. He said that's because of the 131 confirmed deaths in Madison County. The majority of the people who have died from coronavirus have died at the hospital. But when he does have to respond to somebody who has died from coronavirus, that he takes extra precaution if he knows that that person is positive. I'm definitely an advocate for the vaccine to help get back to normal for society in our life. Dr. Tyler Berryhill told me he's following the coronavirus vaccine news closely. And State Health Officer Scott Harris's announcement that mortuary workers could qualify to receive the vaccine in the first round of distribution that could start as early as next month. But he explained although he wants to get the vaccine, he most likely will wait. So typically for me, in my unique situation, I have no problem with giving the vaccination if it was offered to me to send to somebody else or one of the nurses down at the hospital in the emergency room or one of the doctors that's working on the front lines to help somebody i have no trouble with waiting until there's more available for the population barry hill added they used personal protective equipment when responding to death calls and get an idea of the situation to know what ppe is necessary and work to conserve their supply the n95 the gloves um, any eyewear protection that's the essential the reality is there may not be enough PPE for us to use on every single case to gown up head to toe. So we have to use a case by case basis, but take good universal precautions to be safe and preventative measures. Now, Barry Hills told me he responded to a few cases where people tested positive for the virus and were sent home to self quarantine. He told me that those people eventually got sicker and died at their homes and explained if you believe you are sick enough and that you need hospital care that you should seek it immediately and not delay. Live in Huntsville, Sydney Martin, Way 31 News.